welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As you guys probably already know, if you are familiar with my content here, I have a slight obsession with Lululemon. I do a ton of these try on haul and review videos on Lululemon and a bunch of other similar brands. So if that's kind of your thing as well, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So fingers crossed. <laughs> it's a big jump from where I am right now. So I don't have my hopes up, but you know, it's good to have goals. Anywho, I am super excited to show you guys all the new pieces that I have in from Lululemon. I have been eyeing some of these pieces for a while. It's been sitting on my cart and I finally pulled the trigger on some of these things like soft stream stuff. And I have a jumper that is like the striped one that is really popular right now. I've seen so many people haul it already. Long sleeves, joggers and stuff like that, which are perfect for the fall and winter season that's coming up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Just a disclaimer, um, what I'm wearing right now is not from Lululemon. Right now, my house, for some reason, is so hot. So I could not wear any of this stuff while fi filming this video. But if you're curious about what I'm wearing in this video, including all of my jewelry, I have everything linked in the description below for reference. Before I forget, I actually have two accessories as well to show you. I have two bags that I got from Lululemon as well. So I'll show you guys that at the end. Hopefully I remember. I kind of try to categorize this by color. I have three things that have the color bone in it. And the first thing is this one. You guys already know the infamous Define jacket from Lululemon. I believe it's made by the Nulu fabric. Let me just double check. Yes, this is a Nulu cropped Define jacket and it is a full zip. It is cropped so the waist length is a little bit shorter than their full length version. I got this in a size two and I love the little thumb holes that you get and the sleeve length is perfect. I'm glad that I got a size two. A lot of the reviews say that you should size up, but I don't think so. I think you should go with your true size because this jacket is made and designed to snatch you <laughs> and gives you shape like no other. It's kind of like a shapewear but comfortable jacket in my opinion. It's super lightweight, it's pretty thin, but the material is Nulu, so it's so buttery soft. My only gripe with this is that since the fabric is really soft, it does snag fairly easily. I feel like I had some callus kind of gross on my fingertips and I just feel like I just grazed over it and I already see kind of like it nicked some material. It's not super noticeable or anything. So I'm just kind of like worried how long this will last, like especially in the wash and everything, just wear and tear wise. I'm not sure if I feel confident that this is going to last a long time. Just be careful with this, with this gem because it can nick on things a lot. It has that ventilation thing in the back. It just makes you look so good. So I'm super excited to have this in the color bone. I have the full length, but it's in the color like dark heathered gray. And I got that from a Lululemon outlet like a long, long time ago. And I just don't wear that as much because it is a longer length. I'm not a huge fan of the color either. So I love bone. It is like the best creamy eggshell off-white color. This is something that I've been seeing literally everywhere in every Lululemon haul that I've seen in the past month. It's called Perfectly Oversized Cropped Crew and I actually sized up to a four in this. With Lululemon, I typically go for a size two except for their sports bras because I need to get a four in those. But for apparel, I usually go for a two but sometimes size up to a four depending on how I want the fit to be. And I definitely wanted this to fit me more oversized. I feel like I could have just gone with my regular size two. It doesn't look bad on me or anything. It just does look very oversized. I feel like if you get your true size, it will still fit a little bit more boxy and oversized, but I'm really perfectly happy. <laughs> perfectly, because it's called perfectly oversized crew. I do like the fit of the four on me, so I will not be exchanging it. And I really like how the sleeves are a little bit longer than my arms. It just kind of encapsulates me into this little cocoon. I love it. And I'm really into stripes right now. I've been wanting to add more striped things into my wardrobe. So I'm super glad to have this. In the try on clips, you would have seen me style both of these tops with, the, uh, with these bottoms. And this is the high rise scuba 
jogger. I believe that's what it's called in the color bone as well. I cannot believe I slept on this for so long. I want this in black like ASAP. I have it in my cart right now. It is fleece lined. It is so just cozy. I mean, I cannot wait for it to be colder and in the winter so that I can just cuddle up in this, you know? I also have the scuba like oversized hoodie in the bone color so it matches this perfectly. I have like a little bit of a matching set as well which I always love and strive for. In the back I really like the upside down U design. I just think it's very flattering and I got it in a size 2 which is my typical size. I feel like if I went for a 4 it would have still fit but a little too loose. So I'm glad that I stuck with my normal size because I was going back and forth about that since I was reading the reviews. The length is fine for me. I am relatively relatively on the shorter side. I'm 5'2", 5'3", and I feel like the full length still fits me very well. It doesn't bunch up too, too much. And because it's a jogger, it is cuffed at the ankles. So nothing is really gonna drag on the floor or anything, which is the reason why I prefer to buy joggers instead of actual pants because with pants i do have to hem them if they are going to drag on the floor which i don't like joggers are definitely a little bit low maintenance in that sense where i don't have to get them hemmed if i don't want to i'm so glad that i tried this out now i just want every color <laughs> okay let's move on to the color espresso oh my gosh this is a godsend like i love this color it is the most rich mocha like dark brown color it's so beautiful. It's definitely more on the cooler side of brown. This is the all aligned mock neck top or like long sleeve top or something. I fell in love with this last year. I actually got this in the color bone <laughs> last year and I was too late to get the other colors. They all sold out and this year I was so excited that they re-released it in this color and a couple of other colors. I got it in the espresso and the black which I'll show you later. It is so soft and smooth and it's so so flattering i love it i got it in a size two it's a timeless basic that is going to work so hard in your wardrobe definitely cost per wear is going to be amazing so i'm really glad that i bought this in this color and black which i'll show you later and now i have like a complete collection i have a black brown and then an, uh and then a white you know bone color so i'm like pretty much set with my long sleeves so love this so much and in the triumph clip i styled it with this it's not because i think these two go well together but it's the same color naming convention wise so this is also espresso but it's in the soft stream fabric and this is what is this called high rise soft stream pant <laughs> I don't know, but I got in a size 2 and I really really love this regardless of the fact that this espresso color does not match any of my other espresso colors, but it doesn't matter because I still love this piece. It is so comfy. I've been really curious about the soft stream fabric because I've actually never bought one until this haul. It's great. Now I understand. The only thing is that people say that they stain really easily, even if water gets splashed on it or something, they said it stains. But I also heard that if you just put it in the wash and let everything wash, it goes away. So I don't know, I've, I haven't encountered that yet, so I'll let you guys know if that happens to me. But I feel like a darker color is definitely the way to go with this fabric because I feel like this would get dirty very easily if you have a lighter color, which I'll show you later because I have a set that is also soft stream but in a lighter color but this is so nice i want it in black as well <laughs> but the soft stream material it makes all the colors kind of more muted and dusty so it doesn't look the same as other materials from lululemon so just keep that in mind i think this fits me so so well it's so flattering it makes your butt look really good and i am glad that i went with my true size too because a four would have been way too big this is the full leg length so i think i'm gonna go to lululemon to get it hemmed for free because they do offer that complimentary service. It does drag on the floor on me, which was not a surprise. I knew that that was going to happen, but Lululemon is awesome because they hem things for free from there. And I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna wear this so, so much during the fall and winter. And this is like the perfect loungewear pant. I love it. And I got it in a short as well, which I'll show you later. Like I said, I got the mock neck top in black so i won't dwell on this too much but you know you always need a black long sleeve 
you're always gonna wear it. So I didn't feel bad purchasing this one because I knew that I would 100% wear it and it will go with like every single bottom that I have. It's just such a, a perfect basic. With that, I have two black joggers to show you. This one is a little bit different. So I am actually on the fence about this one. So definitely let me know in the comments what you think. I just can't tell if I like it on me or not. And that's because it's a mid-rise, which I don't typically go for. I always go for a high-rise because I have a longer torso. And this hits me at a really weird, like awkward length on my ankles. I don't think it's that flattering, but it is so comfortable, you guys. It feels like everything that I ever wanted a jogger to be, like for something that's more lightweight. This fabric definitely is thinner and it's more lightweight and it's more stretchy and flexible. It's also cheaper than a lot of the other joggers on Lululemon because of the material, but it still feels substantial and high quality. So it's not like the quality issue. Um, I do think that it's really cute. I just don't know how I feel about the mid-rise and then the shorter length. I don't know, but I feel like there's a time and place for this because this is such a great summer to fall transitional piece because of the thinness of it. It's not as stuffy and hot as something like the scuba uh, fleece lined ones. So I don't know, I want to keep it, but I'm just like hesitant. So let me know in the comments what you think about this one. On the contrary, with this jogger, I already cut off the tag and everything because I have no intention of returning it. It is the mid-rise, I know, mid-rise, <laughs> like who am I? But this one actually doesn't fit too mid-rise on me. It's almost a high-rise, so it doesn't bother me as much. And this is the infamous mid-rise dance studio jogger and it's the full length one i got this in a size two and i'm so glad that i did because i actually own this already but in the cropped version in black and this is also black but i got it in a size four and it is just way too big on me um i don't know what i was thinking when i purchased the four clearly i wasn't thinking and i didn't really evaluate it thoroughly enough as soon as i tried on the two i was like okay yeah i should have gotten my actual size so stick with your normal size i love the look of this i actually like the look of this better than the cropped version because the crop it's it's um yeah it hits me kind of at an awkward angle but um i still liked the look of it but i do like the jogger a little bit more because it goes all the way down to the lower part of my ankle, which I personally feel like it makes me look a little bit taller. I love this. I think this is going to be so, so good for like running errands or when I go do like bridal makeup because I'm on my feet a lot and I like to be comfortable. Still stylish and I love this fabric too. It's very like sweat wicking. Now I need to post my other size four cropped one on Poshmark. Last but not least for apparel, I have one last set that I want to show you and it's also in the soft stream and this is such a bright color. I think I got this on sale or maybe the bottoms on sale. I'll try to link it if they still have it on their website. I already wore this. I really like it but I am not wearing this out. This is solely for lounging at home purposes because this color is just so bright and light that any stain, like, I mean, if I sat, if I looked at something wrong, it would get stained. You know what I'm saying? So I'm only going to wear this set at home when I'm like working from home or when I'm lounging around and want to be comfortable, but still cute. This is the way to go. I got this in a size two and I'm glad that I stuck with my normal size because it still is like, it's roomy, you know? So I really like this. And to go with that, obviously I needed to get the matching short and this is the soft stream short. Basically a short version of the pants that I showed you in espresso, but this color obviously matches the top that I got. It's just really great um, for lounging around at home and it's a really good length. Like my butt isn't hanging out and I don't have to like constantly pull it down. Effortlessly cute kind of loungewear shorts. So love this one, just um, scared to wear it outside, you know? <laughs> okay, before we end this video, I do remember that I have to show you two bags that I got. This first one is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this backpack. <laughs> it is like their micro or like mini backpack or something. I think it's called the micro because they do have like a small 
version of this, which is bigger than this. This is literally the smallest one. Oh, it's called the City Adventure Backpack in the micro size, and I got it in a black. It has silver hardware. I would have liked it more if it had gold hardware, but it's okay. I'm not mad about it. I bought this for traveling purposes because I love mini backpacks for when I travel. It has a lot more space than a purse, so when I have to carry a lot more on me, for travel, I really like mini backpacks, so I wanted to add this to my collection. It's just so cute. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, this is the mini, mini backpack. <laughs> I actually haven't even opened this, so I don't know how the compartments look, but let's open it together. So there's this... Oh, interesting. So like this bottom part, it doesn't really like open up to anything. I wonder what that is for. I don't know. Probably won't be using that bottom compartment at all, but let's open the top. This, the zipper is not that good quality. It doesn't really open smoothly, but that's okay. It has a pretty decent amount of space. It's just one main single compartment, and then it has little mesh pockets on the inside on both sides of the backpack. So this is cute. Can't wait to wear it. Oh, also you can... Um, you can do this and you can actually wear it as like a crossbody too, which I thought was very cute and innovative. Last but not least, I bought this, what is this called? On my level bag, two liter size in black with gold hardware. I just feel like this bag would be the perfect kind of gym bag when I want to carry extra shoes with me, but don't need my huge, sorry, that was my computer huge duffel bag so this is kind of like a great in between it comes with obviously like the handles here i just think it's really cute it has like the fold over design they have a crossbody strap as well or shoulder strap and you can adjust it and i love how this has gold hardware because i wear a lot of gold i don't wear a lot of silver if at all <laughs> unless it's like on my bag or something it's super spacious it has two main compartments so it's split down the middle and the middle compartment has a zippered pocket so you can put more sensitive or like you know those types of belongings in there and secure it. The zipper is a lot better on this bag. <laughs> it also has pockets on both sides and it has like a little plastic clip to just close the opening, but it doesn't have like a main zipper, if that makes sense. So the bag itself actually doesn't close all the way. This is how it looks like on my body. Let me see if you can see it. So there we go. And I'm actually planning on wearing this like kind of across my body like that. I feel like that looks a little bit more natural, no? So yeah, this is really good. I think it'll carry everything that I need to the gym. And that is everything. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think the next try on haul video that I have coming up for you guys is going to be from Madewell. I bought so many good things from Madewell. So excited to share them with you. So definitely subscribe and keep your eyes out for that. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.